Hey guys, it's Jimmy again. Um, I got asked by a uh, well-respected forum if I would uh, build a circuit for him just to see how it sounded. Something that he'd said that he was hoping it would sound good. Yeah, I think it doesn't just sound good. I think it sounds great. I don't know if it's something he wants to like share with the world, so I'm not saying who he is at this point. Although I'll add that if he says that's okay. And I can't put up the schematic for it right now either yet, because without his permission, that's just not cool. Um, basically what it is, is it's a JFET boost. Uh, there have been a lot of discussion amongst us between the uh, EP boost, it's supposed to be the Echoplex boost. I own two Echoplexes, they're not boosters, all right? Uh, buffer at best. Uh, in the AC boost, which is, I guess, more of a booster. I haven't really checked it out. I mean, I don't use boosters that much. I'm a fuzz guy. But anyways, uh, so we built this thing up. He uh, drew up a schematic and sent it to me. And uh, I drew up a barrel for it and uh, built it up. But at first, I couldn't get it right. Now, here's the thing, kiddies, okay? Always remember, when you're dealing with JFETs, you got to check the motherfucking pin out because the goddamn things are never right and depending on where you get them from, it might be different with the same freaking part number. So, what have we learned here, Pink? We've learned to go to where the vendor is, where you buy your transistors, download the proper data sheet for the transistor that you intend to use, and then you won't end up having something where you're like, hey man, it works, but it's like really quiet. <laughs> um... After much dissection and modification, trying to get it to work and getting nowhere, I suddenly had the flash of inspiration. Wait a minute. I've got the freaking pinout wrong, I bet. I checked the pinout, and sure enough, I had it wrong. So anyways, I fixed the pinout. It's a 2N5457 boost going into a standard NPM kind of transistor thing. Uh, the person that designed the circuit recommended using a really high-gain NPM. In my particular case, I'm using a uh, GE AC 170 whatever the hell it is it's it's an NPN it's not an AC 176 it's something similar though uh, HFE about 100 you know uh, and to me it sounds great the only other difference I made was I gave the tra first transistor uh, a little bit more gain by decreasing the resistance from the emitter of that transistor to ground. It was spec at 10K. I brought it down to 220 ohms because to me it just, you know, gave it a nice growl when it was up. Uh, tone control was spec at 3.9 nano for the uh, the tone control. To me it was just a little bit, just it was too subtle. I couldn't tell when it was really working or not. Uh, so I went and played around with a little bit with my trusty roach clip thingies and uh, wires and some capacitors. I discovered that a 0.047 or a 47 nanofarad cap in parallel with the 3.9 nanofarad cap was a really good combination. It gave a really nice sweep to the tone control. Of course, it depends on how loud it is to how it's going to sound. And right now I don't have this thing boxed. It's all kind of hanging here, all just kind of interconnected, you know. You got the uh, the Vero board here. I don't know the hell is it. There's the bottom part and the top. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. There's that big old germanium plug. See it, the silver thing in the middle there. And what this has is it has a switch that turns the boost off and on. Which is cool because you can use the volume to set the boost wherever you want. You use a, like a broken switch, just something where it only works one way. Step on the damn thing and you got yourself an instant boost. It also works as a buffer because it's got real high input impedance. Like there's a uh, 4.7 meg pull down and a 2.2 uh, pull down too at the input to the FET, which is pretty cool. Um, gain pot. When it's uh, engaged, the switch, you can uh, 
dial up like a real nice amount of distortion. It sounds good and it gets much louder. And of course the volume pot gives you above unity gain. And the tone pot works well too. I don't have it bypassable right now, so this should be about unity gain, I'm assuming the pedal's on. I'm gonna plug this right into the little amp and see if it's about right. Nope, that's a little bit hairier. So we'll turn it up a little bit. With the volume knob, if I can figure out which one is which. Uh, we'll call it question mark in the mystery buzz. 
Uh, this one goes out to you, uh, GCS, yeah, ooh, could that be a clue there, children? See, it's much more bonerific with the pedal on. Uh, I'm sure it's going to sound better as it gets refined more, but just a small little preview of something that maybe might come somewhere in the future. We 